a new campaign has been launched to help Kiwis reconnect with their families as research shows that many of us feel our lives have become too complicated. The new Simple is Good campaign by Sanitarium Wheatbix was designed to encourage Kiwis to celebrate a simpler approach to life. To tell us more and to give us some great tips as well to help achieve this, please welcome psychologist Sarah Chatwin. Morning Sarah, lovely Good to morning. have you here. Thank you. So what are some of the key findings from the research? Well it's a great little bit of research that shows us what parents are actually thinking where they're at and a lot of parents think that their children's lives are actually far more complex than their lives were. Mm. A lot of parents are also feeling very pressured about the expectation of what kind of a lifestyle they need to provide for their kids. And I think parents are not liking digital devices or social media, they have had enough of those. Also, I think parents are a little confused as to what healthy options they really should be giving their children. That's really interesting. Mm. I mean, I get the whole digital device thing, the negative impact. I think every parent will agree that <laughs> you're sort of you're like this, trying to figure that one out. Yes. But the confusion over the healthy diet is pretty interesting. I mean, what was that put down to? Look, I think that there's a lot of theories out there around food and about nutritious options that you give your kids and parents feel a little overwhelmed and, you know, parents are busy. Often mum and dad have jobs or perhaps it's a single parent headed household and they just think, well, what the heck do I do? Do I do this? Do I do that? And I think this research just shows us that you know, you can step back and just choose simple things. You know, your wheat mix in the morning and your fruit and veg. Try to give your kids as many of those nutritious options as you can. Mm. We do get confused. I'll be the first to put my hand up and say that's right. So why do you think parents feel that pressure to sort of provide for their kids more than they had? Look, I think there's a little bit to do with keeping up with the Joneses and you create rules and you're the architect for your family, but your children mix with other families and other families have different things and sometimes more things. And I think parents feel very pressured to provide extra stuff if you've got all of that going on around your children. And children are very good at telling you what everybody else has got. A little bit of manipulation comes in there, yeah. So I think parents really do feel a little overwhelmed on a whole lot of fronts. Mm, they, they do. So tell me a little bit more about the Simple is Good campaign. What's the whole goal of it? I love it because the Simple is Good campaign just makes or allows parents to just stop, take a breath, think small, think simple and you know peel off a few of those layers that we seem to put on our lives and those expectations that you know parents do put on themselves. So I love this campaign because it's just it's telling parents that they need not worry so much. They don't need to buy into the complexity of life. You know, you can have s some simple pleasures that are really great to, you know, bring your family together and to help reconnect your yeah. family. Okay then, so what about for parents? Have you got some advice, some tips on where we can actually start? Mel, you know me, I've always got a bit of Good. advice here and there. <laughs> um, I'm a great believer in planning. I think if you have a plan, you have some direction and it gives you a certain level of confidence. When you have that plan, you kind of, you walk a bit taller. So I think plan, spend a bit of, you know, Sunday afternoon or evening just setting up your goals for the week with your family. Now, these days, it's very hard to eat meals with all family members. Every every morning at breakfast, you know, and, and dinner time. But just make sure you connect a few times in that week and on the weekend. And also, I think it's important for parents not to think on too grand a scale, to actually just think about simple things that you can do with your kids. Go for a walk. You know, go down to the beach, walk a track somewhere, um, sit in your lounge and watch a movie together and talk about it afterwards. Simple is good and it really works and it just helps families reconnect. Yeah, it does. So what about the digital device thing? Any, uh, any advice on how to deal with that? Cut. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, as parents, again, you call the shots. So put some rules and regulations in place and stick to them. I mean, as parents, if you set up rules and regulations, make sure that your kids adhere to them. Mm. Don't just, you know, back down and, you know, set the scene and make sure that at specific times, particularly meal times, breakfast, when you're eating your wheat bix you should not be looking at your uh, applications and all the rest of it. You need to just make sure that kids are not buying into that so much. Absolutely. And hey, you know what? I've got an app on all of their phones that helps me to do just that. I can control what they do and when they're allowed Sometimes on. they're quite handy, aren't they? Very good. Hey, Sarah, thank you so much. Thank Fantastic you, advice and a great campaign as well. And if you would like more information and tips from the Wheatbix Simple is Good campaign, you can head along to the website wheatbox.co.nz slash simple is good.